Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on some of the things that you can do in Google. Um, but what I want to show you first is I have this available also as a tip sheet on my website, which is um, free-video-tutorials.blogspot.com. And I'm going to have a better URL, URL for this in the future, but for now that'll work. Anyway, if you go there and you click on cool Google tips, I can't talk tonight, um, you'll find it. Now, the first thing I want to show you is not technically a Google page. Um, but I wanted to show you that anyway. For example, if if I have a web page that I'm at and I want to save it, you know, you can add it to your favorites. But you can also click the icon right here and drag it outward and let go on your desktop. And now I have a shortcut automatically to this page. So let's say if I go to um, CNN.com. Once it gets here, I should have picked a faster website. Once it gets here, I can click this, drag that out to my desktop, and now I have a shortcut to CNN. And if I just click it and change it to CNN, it's a quick um, page that I can get to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close that and get to my Google Tips. Now, the first thing that I want to do is use my tips to do something... Um, you know, if I was searching for something like vacation homes, if I did vacation and homes, it comes up with 30,400,000 hits. But if I put vacation homes in quotes, it drops it down to 1,940,000. All right, so obviously that's still too many. But I could do vacation homes minus rentals. Okay. I'm not sure why that went up, but um, basically the minus is a not. Um, all right, so that's one way of doing it. So, for example, if I did Oak Ridge Schools, it'll come up with 2,280,000 hits. But if I do Oak Ridge Schools in quotes, it drops down to 19,700. Now, a lot of people already know that. That's fine. Um, what I want to do now, though, is kind of do some undocumented, not undocumented, but some other Google tips that I think are interesting. For example, if I do 10 times 1... 156 divided by 22 minus 54 plus 123, Google is a calculator. And you'll notice that it actually puts things in groupings that it would normally do or that it should do because it goes, you know, the multiplication and division first. Um, the other thing that it'll do, which is I think pretty cool, is you can get definitions. So if I do define hegemony. It's one of the things I was looking up um, for a test I was working on. It comes up with definitions for me. Um, okay, if I was to type in a phone number, it comes up with a map to somebody's house. If I was to type in something like um, salary, but I wanted to know from a specific site, Anderson County Schools. Anderson County. AC, and now it only finds pages that have to do with salary on ACS. AC. Okay, so for example, if I was looking up um, rainfall and Georgia at site noaa.gov, it'll only find rainfall related to Georgia from the NOAA website. Okay, so that can save you a lot of time. Um, the other thing is, if I wanted to look for something like, we have a McGee Tyson Airport here near Knoxville, so I could do Tice Airport, and it comes up with the conditions at Knoxville Airport. All right. Um, if I wanted to do, let's say, seven dollars and ninety-nine cents U.S. dollars in Great Britain pounds, it comes up and it gives me the current exchange rate. If I do like one hundred and twenty-three. 50 for um, Great Britain pounds in US dollars, it converts that for me. All right, and probably we'll do euros. Well, I'm not sure what the euros <laughs> sign is, but uh, it'll do lots of different currencies. Um, let me think, what's another good one? Oh, if you're measuring, if I, if I type in something like half a cup, in 
teaspoons. Or I could say 250 teaspoons in cups. All right. You can also do other things like um, feet in 27.3 miles or miles in um, 545 kilometers. So it really has a lot of stuff just kind of built in that a lot of people don't ever think about. And the other thing that I want to mention about Google is not necessarily how to use the search, but how to set up your own iGoogle page. Um, mine is nice. I, I like this setup because it has, my, I set up a weather tab, a news tab, a personal tab. I have my email here, my calendar, you know, top stories, images of the day. You can set up bookmarks. Um, and I know a lot of this stuff is kind of standard on a lot of blogs, but or a lot of personal pages. One of the things I like about iGoogle is that you can select different themes. And the other thing that is kind of cool about this is that these themes in here relate to what time it is. For example, my moon is up because it's now 1030 at night. Um, at different times during the day this will change or if you have the bus stop, you know, if it's windy the person's hat will be flying off, it's raining, they're holding umbrellas. You know, and it's kind of silly but it's one of those things that I enjoy. Um, but again, I like having everything in one spot. But if you wanted to change this, like you just click add stuff and you can see that there's tons of things that you can put on here. Games, video clips such as these, um, Einstein quote of the day, iTunes store downloads, Garfield, etc. All that you can stick on your iGoogle page. And it's kind of nice to have Google just be right there with all the, your mail and everything on it plus your Google search. So anyway, um, I hope this worked out for you and I hope you have questions sometime. Thanks a lot.